I'm going to do a little tour of the Dojo U website, the new website that we've built. Uh, it'll be the 27th episode of Piper's Dojo TV. So let's dive in and see what happens. <laughs> Cool guys. So uh, here is the new website and um, I'm just going to go back to the home page. So um, we can actually start just by um, typing in, I'm actually on the wrong website. Uh, we can actually just type in dojouniversity.com and you'll notice that it sends you right to learn.dojouniversity.com. And because I'm live streaming right now and using my computer at the same time, we might find that things are a little bit on the slow side. Quite a bit on the slow side. It might just take a minute to wake up here. <clears throat> okay, so uh, things are loading here, and we can see that we're now here on the homepage of Dojo University. So for those of you who used to use the old site, you'll see that things are quite a bit different than they were before and we're going to go through a lot of what those changes are uh, today. So it would appear things are taking their sweet time loading here, but <laughs> that picture didn't load in well. But you really shouldn't experience much of this yourself. Um, again, it must be just because I'm trying to live stream at the same time as uh, show the website that we're running into trouble. But as you come to the home page here, you'll see that we, um, uh, you'll see that we have a bunch of different posts scrolling through here. And one of the things that happened pretty soon after we uh, got to work on the Dojo U project in general is, let me also just pause that. That might help as well. I'm just going to close out of any programs that might have... Um, any programs that might use internet juice here. Make sure we quit Skype. That could be a little bit tricky as well. So um, one of the things, sorry, getting back on track here, one of the things that we found right away when we started doing Dojo U after a month or two is that we had literally hundreds of classes that we needed to uh, show to people, but we just had one simple list. So what this does now, like what you see here scrolling in front of you is um, the basically the content of Dojo U, the most recent content that we've seen, um, you're seeing that sort of scrolling in front of you. And I think that is an extremely cool feature. So you can see the most recent stuff. But you can also look right away, you can uh, sort by the latest interest that you have here. Uh, for example, solo piping might be might not be, but it might be the most common thing people come to the site for. And you can see we have all of our latest solo piping posts here on the website, which is pretty exciting. But let's say you're into uh, public service piping. For example, um, for example, you're in a police pipe band or a fire pipe band. Um, we're actually uh, in the midst of developing really good content uh, for those folks as well. Same goes for those interested in PBROC. Uh, same for those who play in pipe bands and want to work on their skills and think about things the right way. We also have a section for people who love the classic pipe tunes, right? And you can zero in on your interest right here at the top of the page. Okay, and that's a key thing to keep in mind. Let's continue to scroll down. As we scroll down, you'll see over here on the right, you'll see a variety of posts that will help you get started at Dojo U, especially if you're a member and you want to figure out sort of where to get started and what to think about first. So we give you all sorts of resources in those posts. Scrolling down a bit further, we see a whole section uh, devoted to beginning players here. And then we see a whole section to the right, just uh, our latest technique and theory 
posts, right? We've got a blog article here by Tom Crawford. Um, and more recently, I dissected a tune, I dissected some of the embellishments in the third part of Mrs. John McCall, so you'll see that class there, which is kind of exciting and interesting. I'm just seeing a couple folks commenting in here on Facebook. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, good to see you. Uh, we're just going to continue rock and rolling here. Thanks for tuning in. Continuing to scroll down, premium content, right? Can you see how some of the stuff actually overlaps? For example, premium content here, you'll also see that post show up in the kitchen piping as well, I would uh, reckon. So it's just all for you to zero in on what you want to do, okay? Uh, uh, here are some random posts from deep in the Dojo U archives. So every time you come to the page, you'll see a different selection here, just sort of like a, I'm feeling lucky um, kind of thing. Continuing to scroll down, we're kind of excited about develop, having developed this uh, portion of the site as well, which is going to be just a quick go-to reference guide, or glossary, if you will, for fundamentals. Okay, so even if you're not a paid member, uh, you could still use this glossary uh, portion of the site, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if things will load uh, more quickly for us now. Ah, perfect, right? And then here in the glossary, check out this uh, quick video here. You just press play. Okay, and it's showing us the steps of the embellishment here. Right, which is pretty cool. Um, just keep in mind, all of the usual functionality that you have here in these videos, you'll have, you know, like all the usual functionality that you might have in YouTube or something like that um, is uh, going to be present. So, for example, I can adjust my volume here in the video. The other key thing is if I want to make that video full screen, no problem. Now you have my giant hands on your screen. And you're able to see uh, what's going on here, which I think is really useful. All right. Uh, I would just press escape uh, to get out of there, which is, of course, pretty cool in my opinion here. All right. So um, let me know, folks who are tuned in live, if you have any questions so far. Uh, but uh, we're going to continue on with the tour. So let's say I want to go back to the home page. Okay. You can probably guess exactly what you need to do, which is just to click the Dojo U logo here at the top. And that'll bring us back home. Okay, you see, ah, yes, I think I did the right thing. Things are already loading quite a bit faster. So scrolling back down to our glossary, see a couple more random posts here at the bottom. Uh, a couple of, you know, things at the bottom of the page here, but that's basically a full tour of the home page of Dojo U. All right, piece of cake, probably very straightforward. Before we go too much further, Keep in mind that whether you're logged in as a member or not, you can search for anything you want using the search bar right here. Uh, for example, quite a while ago, uh, we had classes taught by Jack Lee a very long time ago. If I type in Jack Lee in the search box here, uh, it's going to bring up every post that uh, he has to do with here. It'll bring it right up. Here's uh, something with Jack Lee here. Here are some classes that he actually taught. And you'll see them all here in the archives. Also, if I want to uh, maybe learn about the Kronluth Amok movement, let's see what happens if I type that into the search bar. All right, here you go. Eric Olette, Kronluth and Amok development, Kronluth variations with Glenn Brown, decoding the Amok. So you can see how anything you want to learn, there's actually tons and tons of stuff in there. Uh, there's so much material. And we just wanted to make it with our new website design, we wanted to make it as easy as possible uh, to drill down into that and drill down into what's going on. Okay? So as you'll notice, we are not yet logged into the page here. Can you see how uh, it says log in here? When we're actually logged in, it's going to show our name, and we're going to do that in just a second. But I want to show you some of the things that will happen even before you're logged in. All right, up here on the menu bar, we have a variety of options. You can also peruse some of the uh, featured classes. Now, let's just say I go to any old class here. Here's uh, Krunluth Variations with Glenn Brown here. 
Now, if I go to that class, this is a premium class, and it'll tell you that right here in the top. This is where the video would normally be, except for we're not logged in. Uh, either that or we haven't purchased a membership, and we'll have the ability to purchase a membership right there. Just click there, go through the easy ordering process, and as you know, premium memberships are $30 a month, and the basic ones are $15 a month. You'll also see opportunities to purchase throughout the site. Um, it should be very clear where you would go if you wanted to view that content. Okay, so far, piece of cake. You'll also see our tune index here. Next thing I want to show you is the live schedule. Now, there's two places you'll see the live schedule. One is going to be just by clicking in this navigation bar here. All right, piece of cake. And you're going to see all of the classes that we have scheduled, including today's class. And one of the things that we are able to do in the new version of the site is to actually give you links to the classes that you should study before the live session. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so for example, we're going to talk about read manipulation with Rob Matheson on Thursday. Okay, that is a premium session, but it also gives us a link to the class that we're going to be discussing for you to have a look at. Now you'll see as we scroll down, you'll also see that we show today's live events over here in the sidebar, which is pretty cool. Um, it'll, it'll say what time things are going on, always in Eastern time, and it'll show you the class. Now, you'll notice that there's no real way to access these live classes, but that's because we're not yet logged into the site. So let's go ahead and get logged in now. I've got a test contact uh, ready to go here. Her name is Kimmy at pipersdojo.com. All right, now that password I think is saved. So we're going to log in now to the site. Now this can take a second or two to log in just because it's going to connect us to our database and it's going to check your username to make sure that you have uh, this certain type of access. Now Kimmy is a premium member. It's going to log her in. And you can see that now that we're logged in, Kimmy, uh, it says your name up here at the top of the screen. There's also a My Account tab if you want to manage your account. We're probably not going to do that today. But now that Kimmy's logged in as a premium member, you'll also see a couple of extra things have shown up here on the, um, <clears throat> on the bar here. The first thing um, are the success plans. So all premium members, of course, have access to the Dojo University success plans, which we continually release. Uh, which are dedicated plans, right? Like our uh, blueprint to reach the next grade level in six months. Low G-oriented embellishment perfection system. We'll be coming out with a few more here shortly now that, uh, now that we've launched the new site. A couple people were asking. Um, we've fallen a little bit behind with our success plans, but we're going to get those going again really soon. So the success plans, obviously, as a premium member, are going to become unlocked for you. And you're just going to see them there. Uh, waiting to head back to the home page now. Should just take a moment. How's everybody doing out there? I see we have a couple people watching live. I didn't really promote this, so there's not a ton of people, but let me know if there's any questions or if you guys are liking what you're seeing. So we're back on the home page. Kimmy is logged in here, and we'll now see. Let's go back. Uh, do you remember uh, Glenn Brown's P Rock class? Let's zoom in on P Rock. We should see it right here. Sure enough. Uh, McLeod's controversy, Kremlin with variations. And now that we're a premium member, we'll see that we have access to that video, right? Now that we're logged in. Okay, so if, you're ever, if you are a member and you're realizing you don't have access, make sure you're logged in. Um, sometimes you have to log in again. Sure enough, if we press play okay. here. And finally carrying on and There's finishing Glenn. McLeod's controversy with the Kremlin with variation. Now, as it's written in the book here, and so uh, on and so forth. You can skip around in that lesson. You can re-watch segments that you want to uh, watch again. You can do this, that, and the other thing. Everything's all good. And as premium members, we're logged in. Now, once we're logged in, you'll also notice the button has magically appeared in order to join any live sessions that are going on. Okay? And you'll see that if we go to our live schedule in the top navigation of the site, all of the classes 
uh, you'll have access to. Now, remember, if you're a basic member and we're having a premium live session, you won't see that button there. Right? That's, that's the uh, name of the game with the different memberships. Here's another button that's popped up since we've logged in is the submit button. So any paid member of the website <coughs> will be able to submit recordings for critique. So um, things, of course, a little bit sluggish still here, but um, we'll wait for that to load. There we go. Sometimes it just gets stuck for a minute, especially when you're trying to live stream from the computer and navigate the web at the same time. So submit files for critique, very simple page. If I press submit your file here, it takes you to our Dropbox submit page, which allows you to upload any file that you want for critique. And we can bring that into live sessions um, and we can literally go through stuff together. Uh, that submit button is available for anyone. We'll do that during open dojo sessions. It's also my hope uh, to do some uh, dojo TV shows where we um, cover anyone's um, tunes and give them critique and people can um, go back and forth and ask questions and get feedback on that, which I think will be pretty fun. It'd be especially fun if we could bring in guest critiquers as well. Um, so basically, um, I'm getting to the end of my tour. There's really not a whole lot here. We just have to get used to navigating the site. You know, that takes a little bit of getting used to for sure. But I think in the long run, it gives us a lot better flexibility and a lot more usability for people. Um, the Dojo U Tune Index is still here. If you click that Tune Index, you'll get a list of every tune that we've ever taught at Dojo U. And that should uh, really give us a good idea of, you know, every class we've ever taught in regards to a certain tune there. So that's what the tune index will do. I think that's more or less going to complete my tour of the site. Uh, no questions have really come in. Not, that, not a whole lot of people are watching live today. But be sure to comment in on this post if you have any questions, and we'll make sure to try to get back to you as soon as we can. I'm just going to switch back here to uh, my webcam because I will show you one of the big things, the last thing that I will really uh, bring into uh, this session is that uh, dojouniversity.com is really designed, right, specifically for mobile devices to be ultra usable here. And, you know, it's what you call a responsive web design, which is designed specifically I'm trying to do it backwards, that's the tricky part. Uh, designed specifically to work really well on your mobile device here. So, you know, here's your home page. Right, here's that scroll bar. You'll notice you can flip through stuff on your phone. It's very cool, um, very slick. I actually prefer to use the site on my phone. You know, here's uh, some posts here this, that, and the other thing. You can even access the live sessions through your mobile device. You may have to download the Adobe Connect mobile app for a lot of our live sessions, but really that's the name of the game. So anyway, we're super excited about um, the new site. We hope that the tour proved useful to you. And I'll just check back on Facebook. I don't know if there's any final uh, questions or anything like that, but uh, other than that, we should be going forward. Guys, as, uh, do you have an app for DojoU or just a browser? It's a good question. An app is going to be, uh, this is my uh, Facebook comments coming in. Thanks for that comment there. Um, the app is definitely something in the cards that uh, we're working on developing moving forward here. Uh, but for now, it'll just be in the browser. However, uh, you can actually save websites to your phone Right? You can save a website to your phone uh, as an actual app to your iPhone. So you can see on my phone here uh, somewhere, yep, there's actually a Dojo University semi-app there just by bookmarking it there. So maybe you find that useful. Um, I hope so anyway. 
Um, so in the before we get the apps going officially, um, you'll be able to uh, you know save that to your desktop and get a lot out of it. So anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed that tour. I won't take any longer. Do please continue to ask questions in the comments. I will monitor them and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in.